1000 milligrams a day of this for 8 weeks to lower your creatinine by 31.46%. This is one of the most effective ways to protect your kidneys. Catherine here. What we are going to see today are the 5 super quick and easy ways to flush out excess creatinine. The natural diuretic supplement superfoods and health tips we will see today are exactly what you need if your goal is to lower your creatinine level now. Because they fight high blood pressure, help you get rid of kidney toxins and excess sugar while protecting your kidneys. And don't miss our number one in particular because that was used to lower creatinine by a whopping 31.46% and in a matter of weeks. Before that, number five, this is going to be a natural supplement that's extremely interesting for people with heart health concerns as well as for those with diabetes. The extract from the leaves and berries of this plant is also very commonly used in combination with other extracts as an alternative to blood pressure medications. I'm talking about Hawthorne extract. Hawthorne is a relative of the rose family and a powerful diuretic. Have you ever heard about this natural supplement? It is pretty popular here in Italy where doctors often prescribe natural compounds before resorting to conventional medications. And even if Hawthorne is particularly powerful against diabetic kidney disease, the reason why most people take this extract is high blood pressure. In fact, Hawthorne extract can be combined with other compounds such as odorless garlic, hibiscus extract, olive leaf, and more in order to create a pretty powerful natural way to control high blood pressure. People are reporting drops in blood pressure up to 10% or more when taking this kind of supplements. What you need to know about Hawthorne is that it acts prevalently as a natural diuretic. Yes, it will make you flush out more creatinine and other toxins. And this is why for centuries, Hawthorne has been used to treat kidney problems. This is actually one of the herbs with the oldest use as a remedy in human history we're talking about, by the way. So great for blood pressure and great for heart and kidney health. But how is this supplement going to help those with diabetes? Well, Hawthorne was tested on rats with diabetes to determine exactly that. Results were extremely impressive because Hawthorne doesn't just lower creatinine by helping diuresis. It also protects the kidneys at the point that improvements in renal function were observed by reducing oxidative stress. If you want to try Hawthorne, the typical doses for the extract are 250 to 500 milligrams taken two to three times daily. And, as we have seen, Hawthorne is an easy way to protect your heart and to lower your creatinine levels. And it can also be taken with other extracts in order to lower blood pressure significantly. Okay, up next, our number four. If your goal is to get rid of excess creatinine, there is nothing better than adding foods with natural diuretic properties to your diet. Because you see, while isolated compounds like Hawthorne extract do have serious benefits, the veggies and fruits we are going to see contain dozens of incredibly healthy compounds each. Yes, this is exactly why the diet is the cornerstone of the treatment for kidney disease. And you can make your diet even better by trying a red onion salad. The onion is a widely misunderstood food. Most people consider it just another veggie. What they don't know is that the onion has some of the most effective health benefits you will find in a food, especially when it comes to their diuretic effect. In fact, during the times of the ancient Greek Hippocrates, who is considered one of the most outstanding figures in the history of medicine, used to prescribe onions to people with kidney problems. 
We know today that the reason why this veggie worked so well is the quercetin, a powerful flavonoid this veg contains. And red onions are richer in flavonoids than other onions, so consider adding them to your salad. And remember to add a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil on top in order to make the quercetin more bioavailable. Guys, if you think this info is useful, don't forget to give this video a like and maybe share it with a friend. Another food you could add to your kidney boosting salad is dandelion greens. This vibrant red and green leaves sprout from the dandelion's hollow stem. This is a plant commonly spot as a wildflower in open fields and meadows. And while many people consider this plant just a pesky weed, it has incredible health benefits. Dandelion greens possess a remarkable ability to support the body in safely and gently eliminating excess fluids. Yes, the leaf of this plant is another natural diuretic. And every part of this plant is edible, from the leaves to the roots and flowers, which not only bring a burst of color to your dish, but are also a staple in numerous natural health supplements, celebrated for their role in promoting various bodily functions. So consider adding some dandelion greens to your salad in order to benefit from their diuretic property. They will directly help your kidneys to function more efficiently according to science. Amazing what a little wildflower can do! Another food you don't want to miss out on is celery. Now this one is very well known for its diuretic properties and for good reasons. Celery is very low calorie but what you will find in abundance in celery is a phytochemical known as phthalide. According to studies, phthalide has diuretic properties and it also helps lower blood pressure by relaxing smooth muscle tissue in the walls of your blood vessels. This is why celery has long been used as a natural way to get rid of toxins. Celery is also very low calorie but it contains an abundance of nutrients with exceptional properties. Some of the antioxidants and natural compounds in celery are so powerful they may have a significant positive impact on your well-being. What more to put in your salad? Well, consider asparagus. This superfood is one of the best friends of your kidneys. Asparagus contains a dynamic mix of nutrients that invigorate energy levels while helping you get rid of ammonia and other kidney toxins. There is actually substantial research supporting the notion that consuming asparagus aids in managing fluid retention and assists in expelling excess salt and fluid from the body. But maybe the most powerful food with natural diuretic properties you can find is ginger. Ginger is not just one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory foods out there. Ginger is also amazing at reducing water retention. It's a potent diuretic that naturally stimulates urine production. And ginger also comes with several other properties. It improves circulation by acting as a vasodilator, which means it widens the blood vessels and lowers blood pressure. This can also help with water retention and edema. You can use it as a spice, eat it raw, or add it to a tea. The only important thing here is that, just like for the other foods we have just seen, you make it a regular on your table. Okay, now you may ask, I'm already taking the diuretic my nephrologist gave me. Do I really need foods and lifestyle changes in order to lower my creatinine? Yes. If your goal is to lower your creatinine and protect your kidneys on the long term, you want to rely more on the diet and lifestyle choices because this is how you reduce your need for medications. You see, the thing is, the diuretics and blood pressure medications your nephrologist gave you definitely work, no doubt about it, but they also have a long list of less wanted effects. But they also have a long list of less wanted effects that may increase the workload on your kidneys and they make long-term improvements in your creatinine levels hard to achieve. Diuretics and blood pressure lowering medications are especially hard on the kidneys at the point that large studies are linking them to loss of kidney function. One of the most important pieces of evidence against the overuse of blood pressure medications in CKD is a study titled Renal function can improve at any stage of chronic kidney disease. 
This was published on the journal PLOS ONE and it's safe to say that when it came out it changed the medical world forever, not just because it proved well, that renal function can improve at any stage. Also because it found an inverse link between being able to improve kidney function and taking blood pressure medications. As we can clearly read, improvers use ACE I or ARBs and diuretic loops significantly less often, as well as significantly fewer types of different antihypertensive medications than non-improvers. So if you are asking if you need to watch today's video and to follow my advice in order to lower your creatinine, the answer is a definitive yes. Up next, our entry number three for today is going to be even more crucial than the diet when it comes to flush out more creatinine. So as we have seen, blood pressure medications and prescription diuretics can be very hard on the kidneys. One of the reasons why this happens is the depletion of essential nutrients these medications cause, okay? Never underestimate this aspect. Any mineral or vitamin deficiency you may have will pose a serious threat to your health. I'll give you an example. If you have kidney disease, you are probably taking either a thiazide diuretic or a loop diuretic. These are very common, most patients take them. But you see, what most doctors forget about is that these medications will deplete one of the most essential mineral there is, a mineral that when it comes to kidney health is second to none. Yeah, I'm talking about magnesium. Okay, but what happens if you take diuretics for too long and your magnesium gets too low? Well, the worst that could happen is a heart attack. No, I'm not joking, unfortunately. Magnesium deficiency is extremely common in people with CKD and it is strongly correlated to decreased lifespan and increased kidney damage and risk for end-stage renal failure. And that's only part of the reason why I've recommended magnesium supplementation a million times here on Double O Kidney. And what not everyone knows is that you can also combine magnesium with vitamin B6 to achieve an increase in urine production with consequent improvement in creatinine levels. So how could we go and supplement these two essential nutrients, vitamin B6 and magnesium, in order to lower creatinine levels? First of all, if you have kidney disease, get prescribed a renal multivitamin containing vitamin B6 and the other B vitamins as well. An ideal dose for B6 is around 10 mg a day. This is what you can find in most renal multivitamins. Take them in the morning. Then in the evening or during the day, take around 3 to 400 mg of magnesium oxide. Why oxide, you may ask? because it's the most studied and recommended form of magnesium for CKD patients. You could take other forms as well, just citrate for example. Just remember to consult with your nephrologist if you want to supplement magnesium. A bit rare, some patients have too high levels of this mineral, but also remember that having too low magnesium level is way more common than too high level and it is linked to shortened lifespan and kidney failure. Another thing to keep in mind is that most diuretics will deplete your body of other essential nutrients as well. Minerals and vitamins such as zinc, vitamin C, B1 and more can be depleted. Make sure you are keeping an eye on that as well. Vitamin C and B1 are especially important because their deficiency has been linked to edema. Always make sure you are getting enough of them either from foods or from supplements. I mean, you don't want your doctor to prescribe you even more diuretics because the ones you are taking are not working right. Up next, number two, what can be even more effective in lowering your creatinine levels than a mineral that could literally save your life? Well, the lifestyle changes aim at protecting your kidneys, of course. There are a few good habits that will help you support your body's elimination of excess toxins naturally. First of all, avoid heat and salt. Fact, excess salt intake can cause you a retain as much as 1.5 liters of extra fluid. This could have a really negative impact on your blood pressure and on your kidneys. But did you know that 80% of the salt people consume every day comes from packaged, processed, store-bought, and restaurant foods? 
Yes, avoiding the salt shaker is not enough to avoid salt. Next tip, drink more water. Remember that water gets rid of water. If you don't have an allowance, 8 to 12 glasses a day are recommended. Dehydration can make the body hold on to extra fluids and we don't want that. Another very effective tip, cut back on refined carbs. Eating too many refined carbohydrates means the body will store them as glycogen in the liver, which attracts water. And this is just one of the several reasons why eating less refined carbs will help with lowering creatinine levels. This doesn't mean you must completely avoid pasta and bread, but don't eat too much of them as well. Most refined carbs are also calorically dense and this is a problem for diabetes patients and those needing to lose weight. Yes, this is the next tip. If your goal is to lower your creatinine and you need to lose weight, make controlling your body weight your top priority. And not just because, well, a lot of excess body weight is water. Also because losing weight means improving your kidney function. This is what a community-based study conducted on obese patients with CKD stage 3 and 4 found out. The study focused on a weight loss program and was able to prove that 3 out of 4 participants not just improved their kidney function by losing weight, they were even able to improve their CKD stage. So most of them were in stage 3 or 4 at the beginning of the study. But when the study ended, which was after just 12 weeks, they were in stage 2 or 3. Amazing! So keep that in mind if you need that extra motivation, for example, in order to start an exercising program. Now this is probably one of the most effective tips you will find and not just because it helps losing weight. Even in normal weight people, exercising regularly is correlated to a better kidney function. Don't forget that exercising will lower your blood sugar levels, your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and improve several other health markers. Way better than any prescription. This is why it is so effective against kidney disease. Okay guys, let's take a look at our number one now. This is one of the most powerful supplements in existence. It was able to lower creatinine level incredibly fast and effectively in very large studies. Some patients were able to lower their creatinine levels by 31.46% in just a few weeks. This is an incredible result especially because it was obtained on a large number of CKD patients in the advanced stages of CKD. So when it comes to lowering your creatinine levels fast, probably the most effective supplement out there is number one, Cordyceps. Yes, this supplement is amazing, very easy to find, extremely effective, and you can also eat it. Yeah, Cordyceps are used to make soups and they taste great. They are mushrooms after all. But what's more interesting for us is that a lot and I mean a lot of CKD patients in stage 3b, 4 and 5 are delaying end stage renal failure by years thanks to this supplement. According to this Cochrane review, Cordyceps preparations were found to significantly decrease serum creatinine. And this is from the Cochrane Library, alright? This is the best of the best in terms of scientific evidence. Now, what you need to know about cordyceps is that the most commonly used form is the extract, right? Yes, you can eat them, but if your goal is to lower your creatinine, find a supplement that has a certified cordyceps content. Now, what not many people know about cordyceps is that its main benefit is not to lower creatinine levels. Cordyceps is incredibly powerful when it comes to stopping proteinuria, which is very important because proteinuria actually predicts at what rate your kidney function will decline. So if you want to learn more about proteinuria and how to control it, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye!